I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin, and we are keeping our eyes on the tropics, and we do not quite have our first named storm of the season. PTC-1, Potential Tropical Cyclone 1, is that same area we've been talking about down near the Yucatan over the last couple of days. What that designation means as a PTC, a Potential Tropical Cyclone, is that it will likely become a depression or a storm, but this designation allows the Hurricane Center to begin issuing watches and warnings. That usually means an area that we are likely going to see develop will start impacting certain areas within the next 24 to 48 hours. And that is likely going to be the case moving away from the Yucatan toward Cuba and then eventually South Florida. Still kind of a question as to just how strong it'll get before it makes its way to Florida. But it does look like it will, at least based on the forecast, become Tropical Storm Alex. So let's take a look at where it is and what we're talking about right now. I haven't put the icon of our PTC on there just yet because I want you to try to figure out where it is. Can you see it? Obviously, there's a big area of thunderstorms out over the uh, Yucatan Channel. You're starting to see rain coming up on radar from Cuba and South Florida. But where are all the storms? They're well displaced from the center because when I do update this here, you see, oh, let me jump back here, one graphic or um, um, move in a little bit. When you, you kind of look at where the storm center is, it is not actually at the uh, main area of convection, the main area of thunderstorms. It is well displaced. We're starting to see what looks to be maybe a few little thunderstorms kind of popping up right near the Yucatan, but this is where the Hurricane Center is designating the center, quote unquote. Again, this is not yet a well-defined storm. This is basically still an invest. Uh, but again, the PTC designation allows for watches and warnings uh, to be issued. Where are all the thunderstorms? Well displaced off to the east. Those are actually moving toward almost central Cuba, so well away from the center. So this is going to have a very difficult time in the near future as it will be combating, and already is, dry air and strong wind shear. And that really is set up across the Gulf of Mexico. So this is not going to be a rapidly intensifying storm regardless of the fact that it'll be moving over the loop current. Again, the upper and atmosphere is very, very hostile across the Gulf. So this is not in a favorable environment for this to just explode in strength. Certainly a lot of rainfall, a higher surfs and some gusty winds that will be moving toward Florida, but that will be about it. So thankfully, the Gulf of Mexico is fairly hostile. As I said, with a PTC designation, watches and warnings can be issued, but we can also see advisor a track issued as well. So what the Hurricane Center is thinking is that by light tonight, early tomorrow, we're going to see this become tropical depression number one and then possibly at some point tomorrow becoming tropical storm Alex as it makes its way south of Sarasota kind of around the Fort Myers area by Saturday afternoon. Keep in mind this is only showing you where the center of circulation is. The thunderstorm activity is going to be well displaced from this center. Uh, probably by the time the center is actually making its way on land you'll likely see most of the heavier rain near Miami the east coast of Florida or maybe even more so over the northern Bahama Islands, Nassau, uh, Marsh Harbor. So this is not going to be a well a well structured storm as it makes its way towards South Florida. Now, once it gets into the Atlantic, we could start to see additional strengthening. Hurricane Center keeping it as a tropical storm as it moves maybe toward Bermuda and then likely staying up to the north. But notice it does have its strengthening winds then up to 50 miles an hour and then starting to weaken as it moves into colder water. So what we're, what, looking, what we're looking at right now is really not a big surprise. This is exactly what we were expecting from this system. Uh, maybe not the uh, known as to whether or not this would become a name storm, and yet that is still to be determined. The models are not really aggressive in, in allowing this to um, become a name storm. So this is a look at the precision cast model again. You look at that center of circulation, but where are all the thunderstorms well displaced off to the east? So likely we'll start to see the heavier rains moving into Florida. Uh, sometime midday tomorrow. Now this model a little faster than what the Hurricane Center is thinking. Notice the icon that you see is based on 
the Hurricane Center's forecast, and our model has the center of the storm right about here. So Saturday early morning, Hurricane Center is still thinking that the center is going to be well offshore, whereas our model is thinking it's going to be much closer to the shoreline around Fort Myers. But again, there's all the heavy rainfall still well displaced from that center. And as I said, even as the center is making its way on land, those thunderstorms are going to be well displaced off to the east. It may not be until it moves into the Atlantic that we start to see more of a a uh, classic structure of a tropical system once it gets into a less hostile environment out over the Atlantic Ocean. What we're looking at right now as well is the satellite data because the satellite data really is the telling story. There's all the thunderstorm development. I just I don't have this colorized. I just have it in the black and white because it lets you define uh, and find these other little features. That's all the thunderstorm development. Here is where the Hurricane Center is saying that the center of this invest now PTC one is located. I've also been watching the data coming in from the hurricane hunters. They are currently flying the storm right now. And as of the last image that I've gotten in from their data, they really don't seem to be flying a, a well uh, designated low level circulation. They're currently flying uh, back and forth right around the tip of the Yucatan near Cancun. And they're really not finding that closed circulation, which if they had and they were able to find winds uh, in support of a depression, this would be a depression. What the Hurricane Center is thinking is that it is well on its way to becoming a depression, but it is not there yet. You also see this dry air on the northern and western side of it that is kind of getting entrained into the center and then actually kind of wrapping around the center, which is cutting off the main area of convection and thunderstorms from that center of circulation. I think the visible satellite shows the little little center uh, a bit uh, a better de uh, defined than even the infrared you really can see and I'm kind of zoom in on that too and we can really see those low level clouds kind of circulating there indicating that this is where the center is trying to develop although I've also seen in some of these developing early stage storms uh, that because all of the convection is well removed off to the east sometimes this what is being designated as the center ends up kind of fizzling out and a new center tries to form in this area of heavy convection. Not that that is happening, but it's actually kind of interesting. You have the last couple of images of our satellite here. There almost looks to be a little spin. This may be more of a little mid-level spin, but almost a little spin toward the western tip of Cuba. So you've got the main area that the models are grabbing onto right now, but then you also look at satellite, and there appears to be this other little spin near western Cuba. Again, what we're watching, though, is that for this to be the center, to try and get a little bit better organized as it moves towards South Florida. We do have a buoy that is nearby the area of investigation. Winds, though, have been fairly minimal. We were showing you this yesterday. As a matter of fact, yesterday the winds were a little bit strong. Uh, and this is pretty well within that area of heavy thunderstorm development. And as of right now, it is really not showing uh, supportive winds of that of a depression and certainly not even close to that of a storm. So just kind of updating you, we do not yet have Alex. That PTC designation goes back just a couple of years when the Hurricane Center decided we've had these storms kind of developing right near land and sometimes there isn't much notice that's able to be given because if it is not a named storm, you really don't issue watches and warnings. So what this PTC development or this PTC uh, designation allows for is the issuing of watches and warnings even before you have a depression or a storm. But again, the PTC designation is indicating that the confidence is high from the National Hurricane Center that we will have our first name storm. And that, of course, would be Alex. Kind of looking at the season as a whole of what is expected, again, above average, as I point out year after year with these seasonal forecasts, this does not tell you anything about a landfall of a storm and where the storms are going to be more prevalent. Boy, what would be great is that we see this hostile environment stick around the Gulf of Mexico uh, for a while longer just to keep everything pretty quiet there. But that is kind of the latest on uh, PTC number one, not yet a depression, not yet a storm that is likely to happen based on the Hurricane Center's forecast to occur either late tonight or early tomorrow, becoming first a depression and then perhaps a very weak tropical storm, Alex, before it moves inland around the Fort Myers area, Naples, Florida, kind of that southwestern coast of Florida, before actually quickly exiting the peninsula, exiting the state, and then moving out into the Atlantic Ocean. Again, there is no threat to us. It's just as... Uh, 
the reason why we're highlighting it is that it's become, uh, possibly becoming the first named storm of the season.